Good morning guys, it's Jaeger262 and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Now today I'm going to try and finally give you the gameplay video on the Leclerc prototype tier 7 French tank that I promised a couple days ago. The only reason that I haven't done it yet is because for some reason, I don't know if this is a global issue, just a North American issue or whatever, but Armored Warfare will take anywhere from like this. Oh, here like this. Uh, a hour to four hours at the most one time to quote locate servers for the client. The client just can't find servers and so it won't let me log in. And so each day I've tried to make this video, I've always been able to get it way after PvP has ended. So Hopefully, no problems. I'm logged in now and I'll play a couple of games. But that's why I haven't made that video and I probably won't make, be making a lot of videos in the future. In Armored Warfare, I might just be doing PvE or just reviews from now on, depending on how that goes. But let's get stuck into some gameplay. And ignore the garage. It's a Christmas in July thing. Um, I just found out how to change garage files, so if anybody wants to know how to do that, I'll give you the link to the post of how I found out to do it, but uh, my garage will permanently be Christmas from now on. Anyway, let's get into some gameplay. Alright, so I'm going to do something a little bit different today because um, Armored Warfare, as part of their newest update, has made it so that way if you wait too long in a specific queue, they just give you extra rewards, and because of that, Armored Warfare's actually been really great at getting games together faster, because obviously they don't want people to wait for the same time, they don't want to pay up that reward. So I decided to see if that would work with global operations. It didn't, so I'm getting a reward for this game, which is nice, but at the same time, I only waited three minutes for this, which is the threshold. So, since this is a game that I haven't played in a long, 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 I thought it'd be a good place to just try and start with the Lifter because it gives it a lot more. Uh, it gives it a lot more. Uh, what am I trying to say? Flexibility to do things on the battlefield here. Like I said, it's going to be like a medium for World of Tanks. So mobility is not that great off road, as you can see. Which is crazy because when I played it in PvE, it was. But then again, PvP is or PvE is rarely off road. APCR rounds are. I keep saying that like it's Roman tank. Saber rounds are nice. Let me see. They do 500 damage for 670 damage. Not bad at tier 7, not bad. I believe when I did the review in a while back, I said this thing was going to have similar gun handling to an Abrams or a uh, Leopard. Definitely in that vein of the vehicle. That is bad. Exactly what the Leopard actually did, it's not. I should not be hunting because you're up close to the target. Identify target. Also, truck. No, 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 I got stuck out there, I have no idea. But that's what I'm talking about, that right there. So, well, it looks like I drove forward like a Muppet. I actually stopped my tank behind the rock and it kept moving. That's one of the things 
that are starting to tell you this plays like a medium tank. It doesn't actually stop. I guess this is saying if you've ever played the Buford series, like the Buford of Thunderbolt 2 light tanks in this game, uh, they play the same way. Once you stop the vehicle, it just keeps moving forward a little bit to replicate the inertia behind how fast you're going. Although I didn't really think I was going that fast as I was previously stopped, but oh well. That can happen. My fault for trying to keep brawl with the TV for no reason. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I mean when I say this is a medium its mobility has a kind of jumpy all over the place. And if you're not aware of that, it can cause some trouble like that, like getting stuck out in the open. <laughs> yeah, you can see that it's a, um, what they call this? Street. Identify. Street mobility? I don't know. I should know that, I've been playing this for a long time. But you have off road and then I guess on road. Team objectives have changed. New points are locked on the map. Yeah, I'm getting nobody show you guys this, but we'll see. This is not at all how a global operations game is supposed to go. I don't know why. Maybe because I haven't played it in a while. I don't, I don't know why that team was camping on the roof. So what was the point of that? It is to kill me, but... We have captured point four. It would also help if I have to the three of them, but I have an ST1, so I'm going to spot for him. Did I die at 3 or did I die at 5? Maybe it went all the way to 5. Maybe that was completely my fault and I was not paying attention to the map. Because the stuff that could be CAC is even way up. And it pops in his life.
they keep getting? Our, the bomber was right here with his team doing. How is the enemy getting all the power ups right now? We're getting none of them. They just got the full box too. Like, come on, guys. Although, this is an easy game, so. Alright, so shitty game on my part, but victory nonetheless, and you get to see a little bit of how the Lothar performs in battle. Uh, biggest things to remember about this vehicle, besides the fact it has no armor, which I'm glad I can show off today by... What's this? Repel damage. Just repel damage. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, no armor, so you have to see that because I kept driving out in the open because at the same time, it does not stop because it's a fast vehicle. So I'm going to try to maybe do another global operations game. Oh, I never used designated area. I'll tell you what, I'll do a normal random battle and then a PvE just to get all three, and that'll be it. Alright, so we are top tier, so two tier spread, but in counter battle on central waterway, which is. Just waterway. <laughs> I don't know why I said central waterway. Uh, one of my favorite maps, and so since it's encounter, we got a couple of other perks here. I'm going to push straight towards the cap going down the D line. And see what I can do. So. As you can see, this thing really moves going 65 kilometers an hour right now. Um, which is what I was trying to say in the last game. Is that on pavement, it is quite fast. And if you remember from the early review, the review video I did earlier this week, uh, that is a product of French tank philosophy going into the first century. And that was a faster, lighter vehicle with a good gun would have far better battle survival or longevity than say a heavily armored slower vehicle like a Challenger or an American M1. So these vehicles kind of embody that and they go incredibly fast. Uh, those traps absorb that one. It can't snapshot. It is very accurate, like I said it's almost like a pocket sniper, but not quite. Um just the end time's not there to pull off really good snapshots, but it's armored warfare, so the guns are fairly accurate, especially because it's silver rounds fire so they us. Ooh, what the hell are Why? How? Oh, wow, he loaded it. I hit the 93, some kind of artillery. Yep, win this brawl of the time. But I guess it's how many games. Trying to just to block my This Abrams would just climb the level of God, just leave me alone. I can't uh, I can't brawl. You should not brawl in this place. Which is what I say in the uh, it can in extreme circumstances. But... Oh no. I don't even know what that is. Alright, well that didn't make any sense. I guess it bounced into the cheeks. I don't really know what that was. That should have been an easy head for this thing. Wow, 
lot of MB2s over there. Yeah, that's where Advantage to being light and mobile? Good relocate. Of course, my engine's knocked out, so. I should be able to see them. Identify. Oh my god. Way to get viced. Um, so I don't really know what my team did since there's a lot of new battle things and just none of them are actually attacking the cap. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't really know. Here's the agents. He's doing his job. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. That's gonna be it for the PvP. It's like the eighth game I have played today, trying to find any semblance where the little bird can actually survive and actively participate in the game. I wouldn't ever play this in PvP, I would recommend it, not random battle. It's just gonna be a bad tank because it's heavily reliant on its team. Unless you play it like a tank destroyer or a light tank. You plan on getting, yeah, just like that with Clerk, just getting completely destroyed every time. You will get constantly outmatched by fellow MVTs. It is not a good tank at tier 7. For the, at least this game mode, for at least these matchups, the Leclerc is not good. So let's get into some PvE gameplay so you can see how it does against bots and then my final verdict on the vehicle. The Alright, we are on Meltdown. Uh, well, it's not top tier, but it doesn't matter, right? Um, I could have brought some heat rounds, but I don't actually have heat rounds for this thing, so. That's mistake number one, but as you can see, just, it's, uh, it's a light tank without the Q ring. I mean, without my team moving up with me, uh, just gonna get completely shredded. You should not be playing it as aggressively as I'm playing it. You know, you're thinking, why are you playing it so aggressively? Uh, yeah, that's a, it's a valid point, and that's one of the things that I think my factor for how good of a vehicle it is. I play very aggressively, and I'm playing without changing my play style to just emphasize how it stacks up towards other MVPs, traditional MVPs. So obviously if you're good at playing light tanks or AFVs, which I am good at, I just treat this like that, and you do, you'll be very proficient in this vehicle. Good at pulling back. I prefer to brawl with my MVTs, so I'm brawling with this, which, as I told you many, many times now, you shouldn't do. But, I think we went okay now. Not too bad, getting some damage in there, getting some kills. Uh, wish we hadn't lost a third of our hit points that fast in the game, or that early in the game, but it was a misplay on my part. Impatient. Uh, well, that was an okay mission as far as missions go. This whole part's pretty awful to try to get to the water going so slow, then you gotta climb up the mountain going so slow. Just not a fan of the map. This is a weird chunk of the reactor map. Uh, I never did the reactor. Push out to the side there. I will say the quick reload time of this is part of the reason. Look at those sights. You get the full iridescent effect. But this is advertised as having high quality armor, high caliber weapon with exceptional mobility. And I think it has two of the three. I think it's, well, its caliber is good. I wouldn't consider it better than any other 120mm at this tier. Like I said, it's basically playing a leopard. 
So, I don't know if it's high caliber, but it is very nice. Good rate of fire, good penetration, feels really great. Uh, high armor, I guess is something you have to get in order to penetrate, because I have not seen this thing use its armor in any way. Now, again, a part of that is because the whole frontal plate is so flat that it cannot physically deflect any shells coming at it, except for small arms around it. And when I say small arms rounds, I don't mean like cannon rounds and stuff like 20 millimeters. I mean like rifle rounds, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure using just normal AP rounds or BBL with a 20 millimeter cannon can penetrate this thing. I mean, I might be exaggerating just a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised. Again, I think this thing's only saving grace, which what you're seeing right now is just an amazing rate of fire. Uh, I have no idea how to block that. But, uh, cool. So yeah, against bots, it obviously is going to be a little bit better. The only thing bots have over real players is ATPMs. They do that way better than Good game so far, 6500 damage puts us in third place. And well, I'll take it. The other little perk is doing 7000. Good for him. Wow, I don't know where that went. That's exactly like um, <laughs> the last game where don't snapshot accuracy is decent. It's decent. It's not bad at any means. This isn't a Chinese vehicle or a, uh, an auto cannon vehicle, but man, every time I snap a shot at the seems to disappear. It looks like we cleared up phase two a little bit early, so. Base. Terrible in the end game, but just. Well done. The control yeah, unit is in charge. The enemy is going through an assault on the reactor itself. Protect it at all costs. We can see M down. Oh, it's kind of. Wait. I do want to use my special ability at some point. I've never used it. I don't know how it works. I only know how it's supposed to work. So. See if I can pop it up with some um, assistance points. Okay, so you can only activate it if, just like the air, if you're in the air. Designate all the targets in that immediate area and give people a chance. Uh, I do not know how that warrior, the warrior's got magic armor that it absolutely does not have in real life. Uh, that just obliterates saber rounds. It's the opposite of the DRA. I think it just, any saber or ATGMs that hit a warrior just explode with no damage. And then heat rounds just go right through it. It's very weird. Uh, I'm not really seeing any effect of this designated area. I mean, I'm designating an area, I guess. I don't know if these vehicles are actually taking increased damage or what, but I guess we'll see at the end of the game if I got any like, spotted. But yeah, this thing's armor is... I know I've said it a lot, a lot. You know, probably that's going to be my biggest review. So yeah, I was not going to Is that this thing's armor is just... 
awful. I absolutely hate it as an MBT, but um, as a vehicle on its own, I think it's pretty good. So I'll show you the post game stats for this battle and then I'll give you my final review, which is, you probably guess, is not going to be to its favor. Alright, so I did a total of 8200 damage, which puts me firmly in third place. Third place for experience as well. Not great, not terrible. To the guy, hold on, let me go back and just get his name really quick. To this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to butcher that name. A Russian player and his little Kirk prototype. 18,000 damage. That's great. That's the kind of damage I usually expect from my MBTs as well. 10,000 more than I did in this one. Um, I don't know. Uh, final verdict for the Leclerc, so that way this video connects. because I know it's been really long, and I thank you so much for watching it this far if you have. Uh, 6 out of 10, easy. Why? Because it's basically a Leopard 2 AV, which I think is the tier 6 version, uh, at tier 7 with no armor. So it's, a, it's basically down-armored Leopard. Good gun, can't snapshot, can't brawl. Uh, the rate of fire is the only thing going for it. That designate target really didn't do a lot for me in the last game experience-wise. So I don't really know why you would use it. And I think it's only going to be useful, obviously, only going to be useful. I don't know why I said it like that. In PvE, PvP situations, sorry. Probably in global operations more than anywhere else. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh... Upgraded armor might change how this vehicle plays and its longevity, but I don't foresee it doing too much. So for right now, the Leclerc prototype is a 6 out of 10 main battle tank. Play it like a light tank, and I think you can go really far with it until you get that extra armor. As always, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see any more videos I will be doing in the future. And like I said, how many PvP battle videos I'll be able to do now that Armored Warfare servers are like on the fritz again really depends but I'll be trying and if you want to get notified when those are please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time